Well, good afternoon all. Happy Monday. Back Buenos to work Mondays. for a lot of Michigan people and, well, us Indiana people, of course. Well, I'm not from Indiana, but I work in Indiana, so yeah. Uh, it's a decent day. Mondays are always rough. Um, got in a little swing of things. A little slow, but we got through it. I don't know if it's just me or if y'all do this too, but man, I just be having conversations in my head all day long with the Lord and me. Just us two, man. Just uh, thinking of some great things to talk about. Man, if I could just talk then, I'd have some good stuff, but I can't remember it when I get the camera on me, so it's kind of crazy. I got my son with me. What up, what up? He killed it for two hours in the gym. He couldn't wait on me because I got out of there a little late. I had to get out Friday kind of early and they didn't have all my stuff at work. So I had to make sure it got put, you know, a little prep, get everything prepped. I got my daughter. Dang. She going <laughs> she gonna, to she gonna get it in with me. We're going to go in there and I'm going to do my chest and arms. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um. Just wanted to come to you guys today to talk about um, the power of life and death in your tongue. What does that mean, you ask? Basically what you say to people, you know. Um, what you say to somebody can determine how they feel, what they do, how they act, and just, you know, the basics of life. Um, like... Me, personally, I'll use myself as an example. You know, growing up, I always got teased. You know, you, you're too fat. You're too slow. You're, you know, wasn't the greatest looking, you know. It, it was just so many things that put my self-esteem at a low, low level that now, as an adult, when I hear the words that you're handsome, wow, you don't look your age, wow, you don't weigh that much. There, you know, all these great compliments that could build somebody up, you know, they don't really matter. But now that I got the Lord on my side, I know that he doesn't make mistakes for one. And for two, everybody's beautiful to him. So I know I'm beautiful. And so hey. are you. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm just saying, like, the things that we say to people should be encouraging, should be uplifting should be positive not negative there's been many times that i've said negative things i'm not gonna lie i popped off at the mouth and just said some really hurtful things and if i if you're listening to this and i said some things to you i apologize because well that ain't me <laughs> it was me but that ain't me um live and forgive people yeah yes we need <laughs> bunches bunches of forgiveness in this in this day and age that's for sure um, but there's a couple of verses I'd like to share with you from Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs seems to be the book about the power of the tongue. Sis is going to read a couple of the positive ones and I'm going to come back and touch base about these negative ones. So here's my daughter, y'all. Hello, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits. That was Proverbs 18:21. Um, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and healthy to the body. That's Proverbs 16, 24. Ooh, now here's that. Wow. I want to apologize. <laughs> Technical difficulty. Who in the world? So just like she said, I mean, good words are like sweetness. You know, they're, they're awesome. You love it. You want to taste it and you want more of it. And it can really give somebody a positive vibe. Say somebody's working their butt off and all they keep getting is, you know, Work, 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 criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. I've noticed that when I see somebody doing that and I see them discouraged, I go up to them and say, hey, you're doing a good job. You know, keep up the good work. I see that you're really swamped, you know, you're handling it very great. Little positive words like that will totally increase somebody's self-worth, self-esteem, and how they go on throughout their day in life. You tell somebody, oh, you're too slow, pick it up. You know, you just keep saying stuff like that. It's going to tear a person down. They're going to do some crazy stuff. They're going to have an attitude and it's going to make things more difficult. I mean, it's just common sense and common sense is hard to come by nowadays. But, you know, let's use a little good judgment instead of terrible judgment. You know, people may not be up to your standards, but just 
give them a break sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, going, you know, I was at the store the other day and uh, some chick had some pretty cool hair. So I made it a point to say, hey, you got really nice hair. You know, I like your hair or whatever it may be. You know, little things like that will build somebody up. I'm telling you. And like, I was trying to get a discount, not going to lie. <laughs> but she, she remembered that I said, hey, hey, let's give him a discount. He said I had nice hair. Little things like that stick with people. It doesn't matter. You know, you can tell them like, hey, you look very nice today. Hey, I like your shirt. You know, little things. It doesn't have to be something dramatic. huge. You know what I mean? Yeah, dramatic. But uh, tearing people down is just going to make bad things happen. I don't know if. You know, what, what's going on in the world today is, man, there's not a lot of positive. There's not. There's not a lot of positive at all. And I don't know. Kids, you got anything you want to say? Hey, keep that positivity up there, man. If you're positive and you spread that, there's nothing defeating you, all right? Spread greatness. Be greatness. That's all I have to say. Amen. Amen. Sis? Word up. Um... I think negative words stick with people longer than positive. So if you say something hurtful to someone, they're going to remember that more than what the positive things they hear. If you say they're ugly and if someone else says they're beautiful, they're going to know that you said they're ugly, so they must not be beautiful. So try to pick them up instead of damaging others. That's basically it. This world would be a much better place if we had more positivity and nice things to say other than bringing people down and making them feel like they ain't worth nothing. Amen. And oxygen. Plant a tree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> trees. <laughs> Gotta love trees. And here I am cutting down trees to clear out property for my house. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I'm gonna plant some more for my privacy fence and once I get house. it there. But those trees gotta go. Can't be having no trees growing in my living room, you know what I mean? That'd be dope. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Maybe my deck. Yeah. That'd be cool. Right in the middle of the deck. But anyways, guys, let's encourage each other. Um, I got a couple more verses from Proverbs. Proverbs seems to be, like I said, the uh, um, the book to read. Uh, if you want to know anything else about the tongue. Um, Proverbs 13, 3. Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. And then Proverbs 21, 23. Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Donald Trump doesn't seem to be doing that very well. He's saying some crazy stuff and then backtracking and then trying to cover it up. And it's just a lot. Man, this it's crazy in this world. I've never experienced something like this before in my life. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm kind of scared. Um, you don't know daily what is going to happen, what what's around the corner. If I'm going to be able to say another word, if I'm going to be able to take another breath, if I'm going to be able to see my kids again, if I'm going to be able to anything if i'm gonna you know it's just it's just crazy um so guys let's encourage each other let's lift each other up let's not be negative i know it's hard sometimes guys but just us as christians we need to definitely build up um the non-christians and show them by example of our leading our, our attitude of our lovingness through jesus christ that they're beautiful. They're wonderful. They're worth something because everybody is worth something. So on my little thoughts, I haven't told my kids about this, but I've mentioned it a couple times to somebody. I, on my little thoughts with the Lord throughout my day, I've always thought about opening a church. Yeah. And I wanted to name it Elm. And I think I'm going to go back and hashtag this because I just found out that if you click on somebody's hashtag, that it takes you to a page of all them hashtags. That's mm -hmm. super weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm slow. I'm not really... <laughs> hey, we learn <laughs> something new every day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I accidentally clicked on somebody's <laughs> hashtag and I got a bunch of hashtags with that in it. So I was like, hey. So what I'm saying is this whole thing that went on with George Floyd, terrible, terrible, terrible thing. It broke my heart. It really did. I didn't even know that he died when I watched this video for the first time. And this was when it first happened. And then when I found out that he died, and then everybody was making them shirts that said, um, what was it? What's the shirt say? I can't breathe. I think that's what the shirt said. Oh, that was in 2014. Was it? That's why they posted it again, because it's a recurring cycle that needs oh. to be Oh, so what that means, well, anyways, um... Oh, 
the shirts that he made, I can't breathe. Um, and then they said, uh, um, black mm -hmm. lives matter, which they do. White lives matter. Every race, every color, everybody's lives matter. So I was going to name my church Elm. Elm because every life matters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drop the mic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, guys, every life does matter. We need to really think about others. Be considerate. This is getting out of hand. It's very getting out of hand. And we can do better. We can do better. Sis said it right there. We can do better, guys. Love each other. Please. That's all I got, guys. I'm going to go in here and hit these arms and chest. I love these days. <laughs> Tattoos healing pretty decently. Ooh. <laughs> so we're going to we gonna tear it up. At least I'm going to tear it up. One of the two. But uh, I just want to encourage you guys. Please, please, please love one another. Please give words of encouragement. Please let somebody know that you haven't talked to in a while that you love them. You know, you miss them. They're beautiful you miss their face yeah that's good <laughs> love you guys much love bye bye all day every day love god love others love yourselves bye peace peace out guys peace out